Channel 4 News at 6. About an hour ago, three deputies shown on camera repeatedly hitting a suspect were placed on administrative leave. That move comes along with a formal investigation into the videotape you saw first on Channel 4 last week. We now have an enhanced copy of the audio, the sound portion of the arrest tape, that reveals for the first time what was said before deputies hit Darren Ring and how they talked to one another during the arrest. Channel 4's Dennis Ferrier broke this story last week. He's got the newest developments tonight. Dennis. Demetri, the Humphreys County Sheriff's Department says their officers were in a desperate fight with an intoxicated wild man. But the beating was suspicious enough that even the district attorney in that very county called for a full TBI investigation. Tonight, what you hear may be as important as what you see. Hands out of your pocket. Darren Ring has been in and out of trouble much of his adult life in Humphreys County. He is well known to police out there. And when police discovered him drunk on January 23rd, they almost immediately took him to the ground. Public defender Jake Lockard and defense attorney David Raven say there was no legal reason to take him to the ground. He hadn't done anything. Now, listen to this enhanced audio right before the beating even begins. We hear an officer say, Repeat, he's a douche. Let's F him up. Attorney David Rabin says this is entirely out of order. Failure of these officers to comply with basic law enforcement um, policies and procedures is alarming. <coughs> Sheriff's deputies Tim Hedge, James McCord, and Benji Lee beat Ring intermittently for the next seven minutes. At one point, a deputy says, Stand on his, arm. Stand on his arms. And then one deputy says to another, you want to turn? At one point, a handcuffed ring stops moving. I just want to tell you, I appreciate you being compliant right now. At this point, if not much sooner, Attorney Rabin says it was time to take a compliant ring to the squad car. This protracted beating and kicking by multiple different police officers was just pure, raw punishment. There was no need for it, because all they had to do was handcuff him, hand and foot if they needed to, which is ultimately what they did, and just carry him away. Instead, Waverly City Officer Parnell shows up with a taser, and now Ring is tasered, beaten with an asp, kicked repeatedly. He is then dragged to the back of a squad car, where he sits with a punctured lung and four broken ribs, breathing heavily for nearly half an hour. Of course, those three deputies have been put on administrative leave with pay. That just happened. Sheriff Davis says he waited until the TBI officially opened its investigation. He wanted his officers to receive full due process. The sheriff says he is fully cooperating with the TBI. Demetria. Dennis.